Hi, I'm Mike with Electric Rider, and today we are going to show you our new battery cases. Uh, we have two different case sizes. These are very sturdy cases. They clip. They've got a handle on them. They're very lightweight. They weigh about two and a half pounds, empty, um, with a 36 volt, 20 amp hour lithium manganese battery in one of these. It's 11.9 pounds. You can see that they come with foam that is already pre perforated and you can easily cut out the size or shape of your battery so that you can uh, foam it in there and, and keep it from bouncing around. Uh, the lids come with kind of an eggshell type uh, textured uh, foam padding. And the larger case is basically the same, it's just a little larger. It will fit. Uh, this case is going to be more commonly used for the LifePo 4 batteries, while this case will be more commonly used for lithium manganese batteries uh, being smaller. Now before we move on to showing you how to install these cases onto the racks, onto Topeak racks, I just wanted to point out that we do offer the smaller cases in this safety yellow color. If you want to be seen, that's probably the way to go. Uh, we are also trying to get the larger cases in this color, so that should be an option fairly soon. Moving right along, mounting these to the Topeak racks. Topeak has these really cool sliding mechanisms, uh, I guess you would call them, uh, or rail systems on all of their racks and on all of their bags. We have fabricated one for our boxes that will slide into the Topeak racks. And you start with handle first, it's going to go closest to the seat. Try to do this to where you can see it. And you line up the rail on the bottom, and it slides in. You want your handle, i got to slide that off a little bit, so you want your handle to be upward as you push it on. And you want this part of the rack here to stop the pack, and you push the handle down on top of it, and we will supply you with a little piece of Velcro that will wrap around that rack support and that handle just as an extra safety. And, and it's on there. It's not going to come off, as you can see. It, uh, these rails are pretty tight and secure, and uh, it's not going anywhere. Uh, to, to remove them, you reverse the instructions. You'll remove the little piece of Velcro that we put around here, lift the handle, and you'll push it back. And that's it. This is a seat post or a beam style rack. Topeak also makes the uh, full uh, racks where they connect both to the accessory holes near the dropouts uh, and they also attach to the back of the seat post. These racks will hold more weight than the beam racks, but if you're talking 10 or 12 or 15 pounds, these beam racks do a great job for lithium batteries. All right, next I am just going to go over some of the main, uh, most common lithium batteries that will fit these cases. Uh, before I do that, though, I want to show you this really neat feature of these boxes. Uh, another common question we are asked is how to secure the battery to either the bike or, you know, how are you going to keep somebody from stealing your battery? These cases come with these little holes here, one on both sides. Uh, you can put a padlock in there, you can put a bike lock, you can run the bike lock through there and around your frame if you need to. Uh, but these are used to secure the box shut and to secure the box to your frame. As to what batteries fit which case, we'll start here with the smaller case. This is going to be more common for your lithium manganese. Uh, you can fit uh, the 2415, 24 volt 15 amp hour, 24 volt 20 amp hour, 36 volt 10 amp hour, 36 volt 15 amp hour, 36 volt 20 amp hour, 48 volt 10 amp hour, 48 volt 15 amp hour, and 48 volt 20 amp hour. The lithium manganese 48 volt 20 amp hour pack is about as big as you can get in this case. The larger case is going to be more common for your LifePo 4 batteries. Of course, you get more recharge cycles with a lithium iron phosphate battery, uh, but they are slightly larger, quite a bit larger actually than lithium manganese. Um, these cases will fit a, you know, more common batteries uh, would be a 36 volt 15 amp hour, 36 volt 20 amp hour, a 48 volt 15 amp hour, and it will fit a 48 volt 20 amp hour. Some of you might be asking or thinking, what are you to do with a 72 volt system? We would move back to the small case here. Uh, let's say you have a 72 volt 15 amp hour battery pack. Uh, the way that we do our batteries, Electric Rider builds 
72 volt packs in two segments, each pack being 36 volts, and we supply the wiring that uh, will connect them in series and, and into your controller. So for 72 volt systems, you can use two of these cases, one on each side of the bike. Uh, we are currently coming up with a mounting system, uh, something simplified, uh, it should be really easy to mount to your rack and you would put one of these on each side of your bike and that keeps your center of gravity low and, and close into the frame and it should make for an excellent ride. Uh, if anybody has any questions about these, uh, you know, what will fit it, dimensions, you know, all this is on the website, but if you don't feel like going to the website, just give us a call, send us an email, either way, uh, we're here to help. Thank you.